Hi, welcome to Samdana Yoga. I'm Melody White. This is my beautiful daughter, Cabri White. This is my grandbaby, Hattie. Um, we appreciate your presence here today. This video is to help maintain the health of the, or to keep a healthy spine, healthy back. Um, there are four primary movements, which Samdana Yoga adds one more. So five primary movements you want to take on a daily basis to bring the spine in different uh, movements to keep it healthy. Because after age 25, the only way the spine stays healthy is through compression, um, lateral flexion, back extension, back flexion, hip circles, and we add twist. So Cabri's going to take us through a very, um, I'll call it out, and she's going to take us through a very simple series that you can do on a daily basis. Um, good to do it in the mornings when you first wake up um, to have a happy, healthy back please make sure that you check with your doctor before doing any type of yoga. So Cabri's going to start in child's pose. If you're familiar with Ujjayi breath, you'd want to start that Ujjayi breath here. If you're not, I'll share just a little information. It's inhaling deeply through the nose and exhaling out through the nose with a hollowing to the back of the throat where part of the breath goes back into the body on the exhale and part is out. So it's audible, the breath is audible. So you take just a moment just to find your breath pattern, step into your breath. And then you'll wanna move with your breath. So Cabri's gonna take five hip circles right to left. So on the inhale, she'll lean over to the right, pull up and forward, and the exhale will take her over to the left and back. So big, wide hip circles. Get into the areas around the back to help take any tug off the low back. This is one of the main primary movements to keep the back healthy. When she's done taking them right, five right to left, we'll take five left to right. As you can see, she's inhaling left, exhaling over to the right. Meeting back in child's pose when you're done. That's okay, pull those pants. Now from here, we're gonna move to hands and knees. Tabletop, and she's inhaling up. Exhale, she's gonna round for cat. So she's gazing at her belly, her back is rounded. Now, now on the inhale, she's gonna pull the heart forward, tailbone up. She's in back extension, which is ca uh, cow pose. Exhale, round for cat. Inhale, pull forward for cow. Exhale, round for cat. Inhale, pull forward for cow. Two more with your breath pattern, and then we'll meet in a neutral sp spine, a neutral tabletop. These two moves take the body in back flexion and back extension. And from here, she's in a neutral tabletop. And we're going to make our way to down dog, which we won't hold long. But she can spread her fingers nice and wide, tuck the toes, lift the hips, making her way to an upside down V. Now, if your hamstrings are high, tight at home, separate the feet to maybe mat distance apart. Now, if they're still tight, bend the knees, but keep, try to keep the back nice and straight. And the knees can bend if you need to. Eventually, you can stay here a little longer. You want to try to keep the weight out of the wrist and bring equal weight to the heels. This is not a focus point for this video, so we'll go ahead and inhale, lift the toes. Exhale, lower the heels. Now, gently walk the hands back towards the feet. If your hamstrings are tight, bend your knees to come back here. Once you're back, you may need some blocks in front of the feet, and Cabri can show you putting blocks in front of the feet. So if the hamstrings are tight, <clears throat> Blocks in front of the feet, or feet can be wider. So you can start with the feet wider. If that doesn't work, add blocks in front of the feet. Uh, or you might need both. And your blocks have different multiple levels. Low, middle, high. So this is high. 
and then low was where she was, I mean middle, and then low is here. So know that you can change what you need um, for the length of your hamstrings, the opening. Inhale, pull the spine long. Exhale, fold. Now let's go ahead and bend the knees and roll up to standing. And big sigh out through the mouth, hands to heart. We're going to move into lateral flexion for the spine. Inhale, reach it up. On the exhale, the left hand holds the right wrist. Push the palm up. Now lengthen the tailbone and come over to the left for right side body stretch. The gaze can come up to the ceiling or it can be forward or down. You're going to keep the arm behind the ear and the shoulder blades are drawn together. Inhale, reach this up, separate the hands, drop the shoulders, big sigh, hands to heart. Going to the other side, inhale up, exhale, right hand holds left wrist, shoulder blades draw together, tailbone lengthens, and then lift it over to the other side, keeping the left arm behind the left ear. So better to take less side body and be more straight than for the arm to pull in front of the ear. Inhale, reach it up, separate the hands and drop the shoulders and big sigh out through the mouth. Inhale, reach it up with a gentle bend in the knees, bring it down to a fold. Inhale, pull your spine nice and long and exhale, fold. And then you pull the spine long, we're moving to a twist. And then your right knee bends, right hand down. Your hand can be on a block if it serves you better. And you'll see Cambridge putting it on the low level. Your shoulders are stacking. This left hip is pulled back and the heart is continuing to pull forward. Now we're gonna take two more breaths here. Transitioning with the breath, take an inhale, exhale, left hand down. Inhale, pull the spine nice and long, and exhale, fold. Then we're going to twist to the other side. So pull the spine long. That means the tailbone's reaching to the back. The heart's pulled forward. Maybe a block under the left hand if you need it. Left knee bends, and right hand to sky. And you can be on those fingertips if you need more space. You don't have to, but you can see what that does for Cabri. Lines are up just a little bit better. This time, the right hip's pulling back, and the heart is always pulling forward here. One more full breath. Now take an inhale, exhale, right hand down. Inhale, pull the spine nice and long, and exhale, fold. And then to get the heart up, let's bend the knees and inhale, rise, fingertips reach. Big sigh, hands to heart. Oh, your little band is coming off if you want to get it. <laughs> now, say that's all you have time for. You can totally stop right here, and you will have done all the major movements to keep the spine healthy. We're going to add just a tiny little other section that really helps get the hamstrings lengthened uh, and helps the body. So we're just a little more. But if you need to stop right here, you have done hip circles, back flexion extension through cat and cow, um, side body length, or I mean lateral flexion with side body length, and then you've done the twist. So you have attended to the spine. If you can do this on a daily basis with the um, consulting with your physician first, uh, then you'll help to keep the spine healthy. If you want to continue on, we're going to go ahead and we're going to open the shoulders. So inhale, reach the hands forward. Exhale, bring the hands behind you. Clasp the hands and roll the shoulders back. And then take an inhale, lift the heart up, tailbone lengthen, and get, bring the gaze up so you're in back extension again here. Breathe in here, three breaths. Hattie, I bet we can hear you. Now on an inhale, lift the crown of the head up. Exhale, release the hands. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, big sigh, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up, and with a bend in the knees, bring it down to your fold again. Heart pulls forward and fold. And then we're going to hold here. So 
If your hamstrings are super tight and they're screaming at you, on your exhales, bend your knees. On your inhales, so she'd bend here, then inhale, straighten, exhale, bend. Take a couple more with your breath pattern, straightening on the inhale, bending on the exhale. Last one. Now on an inhale, pull your spine nice and long and exhale, fold. And we're gonna hold here four to five breaths. You want the weight to be in the center of the foot so you're not rocking back in the heels. Your hands can be on blocks and let the weight of your head pull the neck long. You can have elbow in hand if that doesn't bother your low back or the back of the hamstrings or the back of the knees. Your hands can be on blocks as well. The hands can be under the feet if you need more sensation. Two more full breaths, so make sure you're not holding your breath here. Then release your any bind, pull the spine long, and then turn the feet out, and if you can, sit down to Hindi squat. Now this can be tough for some people, so some people need to sit on a block. You can set it under the sit bones. You can sit on a bolster if you have it. Or you can just emit, leave out, malasana. Pre if you're in malasana, press into the triceps uh, against the inner thighs to help open the hips. Press into the palms to help open the shoulders. And let's take three more full breaths here. Then take an inhale, push it into the palms, lifting the heart, and exhale, bring the hands down. Lift the hips up, turn the toes forward, pull the spine long, and fold. And then go ahead and walk the hands forward. And drop down to the knees. And then come all the way out forward onto the belly. And we're going to move into Sphinx Pose. So Sphinx Pose, elbows are under the shoulders. Wrists line up with the elbows. Shoulder blades pull back and you're reaching through the toe. So really the movement, once you get up on the forearms, the pose starts from the feet. All 10 toes laid on the mat, reaching through the toes, lengthening the tailbone, heart forward, shoulders back, and then gaze slightly down. Let's take five more full breaths here. Then take an inhale. On the exhale, return your heart towards the earth. Bring your hands behind your shoulders and push back to child. And then go ahead and walk the hands up towards the knees and go ahead and sit up, Cabri, if you want to. So that concludes our Attending the Spine series. There's a, so you can make it a little longer or a little shorter if you need. Um, so if you want to keep a help to keep a half healthy back, then perhaps do this attending the spine series with us. Thank you for joining us.